John chapter 10, the Good Shepherd. In the land where Jesus lived, a shepherd had a very hard life. Every day he had to wander far and wide, looking for enough grass for his sheep. Streams soon dried up in the hot desert sun, and he must find running water for them to drink. Sometimes he risked his life rescuing the sheep that fell over the cliffs or fell into the ravines, or driving off the wild animals that attacked his flock. King David had once been a shepherd, and God's care for him reminded him of the way in which he looked after his sheep. God is my shepherd, David sang. I have everything I need. Jeremiah and Ezekiel had compared the leaders of the nation to shepherds, but often they ill-treated and neglected their charges, unlike true shepherds. I am the good shepherd, Jesus told his listeners one day. I am willing to give my life for my sheep. A true shepherd is very different from one who is hired to help but does not really care about the flock. He soon runs off if he sees a wolf coming. But the shepherd who loves his sheep will risk his life to save them. I am going to give my life for my sheep. My sheep are the people who know me and listen to my call. I know every one of my sheep and no one can snatch them away from my loving care. My sheep recognize my voice and come when I call. Jesus had come not only as the shepherd of Israel, he was going to give his life for all people everywhere. I have many other sheep, Jesus explained, who don't belong to God's fold yet. I am going to call them too. They will follow me and become part of my one big flock. I shall be the loving shepherd of them all. Let's pray now. O God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns one God for ever and ever. Amen. God bless you.